Now, Sam Granville with your sports update. For most high schoolers in the Panhandle, summer is the time to kick back, relax, and enjoy the beach. But for Sneed's football sensation Jason Patterson, his summer is pretty much booked up traveling the country to find his future home. The rising senior running back has five official visits set for this month alone in June. Rutgers, Boston College, Kansas, Cincinnati, and Vanderbilt. Patterson's recruitment exploded after his junior season where he led all Florida classifications in rushing yards and touchdowns. He went from a couple offers at the end of the year to now 23 Division I schools, many of which are Power 5 programs. Patterson says he's excited to spend this summer putting his small town on the map. They campus is probably bigger than the whole town of Sneeze. And like, that's just like, that's just wild to me. It's like, where I come from, and then like to see what all this glamorous stuff, how the weight room, how the school itself look, not like the football aspect, but how the school look. The city that they've been, they've been in a huge city, Nashville, New Jersey, Boston, like them huge city compared to where I'm from. So it is a blessing. With the trend of collegiate and high school athletes around the country, many of the top Players are transferring from programs with the best chance at winning. Patterson says he's close with the four Division I prospects at rival high school Blundstown and transferring over there to chase a state title is an intriguing idea, but his loyalty will always remain in Sneeds. Different. I feel like different for me because Sneeds is somewhere I've always been in my whole life. I played with these guys since we were like little, like real, real small. So like they always been loyal to me. So I just want to repay back the loyalty to them and to my coaches and to my community. So that I'm here, I, I'm sneeze for life. Patterson's first stop this month is in New Brunswick, New Jersey. He plans to depart for what will be his second visit with Rutgers tomorrow morning. 